that this coaster gives. I mean, the color scheme, the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. This ride just has it all. There's no dead spots. Hey everyone, it's Matthew. And Daniel. And we are A to Z Thrills. And what are we doing today, Daniel? Well, 2023 was a big year for us. We were lucky enough to write over 100 new coaster credits and narrowing this down to the top five best impressions of a coaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was hard. Let me just give a little context as to what we mean by this. This is not our top five overall coasters. No. We went into some of these coasters on this list Thing with low that. expectations. Oh, like, yeah. And then again, on the flip side, there's another list coming up where we went in with high expectations, and yeah. Oh, that's right. No, I had bruises on my thigh. It, it was awful. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, actually, if you want to, go ahead and click the little subscribe button and like this video because one, that helps out the channel, and two, that lets us know that you're liking what we do and want to see more of this kind of content. And at last check, we're at 950 subscribers, yes. so 50 more, and, and we can live stream. Ever so closer. Yeah. But let's not waste any more of your time. Let's hop in to the first one that we want to talk about. Okay. So number five, it is a new coaster for 2023. And when people first saw what this coaster was, we were not too impressed. And that is Pipeline the Surf Coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. B&M blew away everyone's expectations in 2023 because I've seen a lot of negative reviews mm -hmm. for a lot of the newer coasters of 2023. I've seen very few negative uh, receptions for, negative reviews, excuse me, for Pipeline. Like, the general public seemed to love it. Oh, yeah. Coaster enthusiasts love it. Now, I will say I was only able to get one right on it, but I did try multiple times, and it's not the coaster's fault. That's, you know, I have to lose more weight for it, but at least I was able to get that one right on it, and it blew me away. The amount of airtime you get from those moving seats are just... Oh, yeah. Immeasurable. The way it brings you out of your seat multiple oh, times. So much fun. If you want to see our reaction, the POV is actually already up on our channel. Click the link in the description down below. We'll move on to number four, which I will go ahead and talk about because I was not expecting this to be uh, as high as it was. We all know that my love of Intamin is uh, kind of dicey. And we went up to Busch Gardens Williamsburg to ride a new instrument that we had never been able to get before, AKA Pantheon. Ooh, yes. Now, whenever I saw this, I was like, okay, this might be fun. The triple launch aspect, I never really had a chance to, you know, fully experience, except for on Icebreaker when we went earlier last year. Um, but this was so much fun. The amount of airtime you got on it, especially over that little hill whenever you're going through the uh, launch, is just great. The the top hat, the style, just everything about the ride itself is mm -hmm. just so wonderful. And you only have an over the shoulder, lat, sorry, over the head lap bar restraint, which is amazing. I I wish we could have got more rides on it, but sadly the last ride did make me a little sick. But overall, this blew my socks off. Number three, okay, is not the tallest. It's not the fastest mm -hmm. at this particular park. But in my opinion, it is the best coaster in this park. Mm. It's only 105 feet tall. Only 105 feet? Mm-hmm. With a 95 degree drop. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. It is the one, the only Maverick. Maverick. Yes. Oh, uh, this coaster is amazing. This is my first real like coaster with the Intamin Blitz, besides of course Veloc Coaster. Mm-hmm. And oh my god. Now I do want to say. The restraints, if you're a bigger guy like me, they can be a little bit tight. But um, not as bad as other intimates. Oh yeah, no. Th though it will step you in while you are riding. I was stapled multiple times after getting off, well, when we pulled in. Because they, you know, pushed out a good bit, but unfortunately, you know, the ride is so whippy and the G-forces just push the seatbelt down even more and you're just like, Argh! It was so much fun. Especially that second launch. Oh my God. That's and just right. going through all that is just amazing. Now, a little thing that almost happened to us on one of the last runs we had of Maverick, we almost had an evacuation. We were pulling into the second launch and the train was going so slow, like it was just inching barely. And we're just like, is it gonna stop? Cause it never stopped before. And it just went, then launched this. And it's just like that build up 
Oh, that mm -hmm. was like the best one ever. Because I'm, trust us, as roller coaster enthusiasts, we all want that one evacuation credit, which we did get, you know, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, maybe a maybe a video down the road. But <laughs> Maverick, amazing, amazing coaster. It earns the number three spot in this. Yeah, I would agree. All right, moving on to number two. We're gonna actually stay in the same park for this. Oh. And we're just gonna move on to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Now, this coaster, whenever we have to see this in person, my jaw dropped. As did mine. We are talking about the one, the only Gatekeeper. Mm. This wing coaster is just so beautiful. Now, I know a lot of people hate on it a little bit for not having the forces that they want, but I think the forces match it perfectly because it's a wing coaster. You're supposed to feel like you're flying. You're not supposed to have heavy G-forces weighing you down. And you absolutely do. And I mean, <sighs> it is such a beautiful coaster. And yes, it was the very first Phantom wing coaster that we ever rode. Mm -hmm. I give it that. I mean, the way the Cedar Point, you know, made the layout to go right over the front entrance and through those keyholes is uh, just chef's kiss. It's just beautiful to look at and I cannot wait to get back to Cedar Point and ride again. All right, now, before we get to number one. We do have a few honorable mentions. We do. And um, let me start, I'm gonna start this off with saying, anyone that watches our channel knows that back in September, I had an emergency medical event at Hershey Park. Yes. And so all of Hershey Park is in honorable mention. mention. We cannot fairly evaluate the coasters for one reason, one for two reasons. One, I was not feeling myself that day. And two, we only got one ride. We only ride. got one ride on everything. And that's not fair to these coasters. Like I have multiple we've had multiple rides on Maverick, multiple rides on Pantheon, multiple rides on Gatekeeper, but we only got one ride on every single coaster at Hershey. We did yeah. get to ride everything, but only one ride is not a fair assessment. No. So little asterisk. We are gonna try to get back to Hershey sometime in the not too distant future. Another honorable mention, because we only got the ride at one, was Banshee at King's Island. Yes. This being a member is so glossy smooth, and just the way you go through all the inversions, just shuts kissing. It is the best being a member. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's not even close. One more uh, honorable mention is probably my favorite wooden roller coaster that Both I've ever ridden. For now, we have not been to Holiday World and Ridden Voyage yet, mm -hmm. which everyone says is the best. And Phoenix at Knobles, we haven't got to them yet. We're getting there, we're getting there at some point. But anyway, uh, the last honorable mention is Thunderhead. Yes. An incredible, incredible GCI roller coaster. So good. I, I mean, mean, we got day rides, we got night rides, we got rain rides. It was yes. just, just fun indeed. The amount of care that Dollywood puts into maintaining this coaster is just amazing. And we thank Dollywood each and every time whenever we talk about Thunderhead because it's just so And we cannot good. wait to get back there in yes. March for our pass holder appreciation. We've already Some more than cinnamon bread. Well, we get two free loaves. Cinnamon bread. Anyway, on to our number one. Now, this is at a park that is kind of local to us and those of y'all who know us you may already have a sinking suspicion of what it is, but we will go ahead and let you know a few things about it. How in the world is a world-class RMC at, at this, this park? small family park? Mm -hmm. We're talking about Air, Air Force, Force One. One. Okay, okay. Oh. We're kind of cheating with this one, but hear us out. I this mean. is his number one coaster. This is my number two overall coaster. And I know I said this is not our favorite overall coasters, but I mean, when you think about the expectations, like yeah, this, we heard, oh. you know, we were like, we heard the what it was going to be like. We saw the POV and we we're like, it can't be that good. It can't possibly no. be. It's it, it's a it's a little family park. I mean, everything that this coaster gives. I mean, the color scheme the atmosphere, mm -hmm. and just the overall, I mean, it has the world's first Raven Trust dive. It has the world's longest zero-g stall mm -hmm. as of right now. This ride just has it all. There's no dead spots. And I mean, plus, this may be a little bit on the cheating side, but I'm sorry. Fun Spot Atlanta's staff is so nice. Yes. If you are a coaster enthusiast and you want to get those different shots of this beautiful coaster, 
All you have to do is ask one of them. They will walk you back to the restricted area. If it's not busy. Yeah. Which but then, <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it's never busy. And that's another reason why this is oh, this is number one because you can literally walk onto this coast oh, yeah. pretty much any day of the week as long as long as the park's open. Yeah. Uh, and get multiple rides. So. Yeah, that's our top five uh, coasters that blew away our expectations. If you agree or disagree, mm -hmm. please let us know down in the comments. What what coaster did you ride in 2023 for the first time that absolutely blew you away? Yes. And be sure to stay tuned because next week we're coming back with the opposite side of the spectrum. The coaster that we had the highest of expectations for and delivered, and delivered the, lowest. the lowest. Yes. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching to the end. I'm Daniel. And I'm Matthew. And we are A to Z Thrills. As always, say it with me now. Keep, Keep calm, calm and coaster on. on. See Bye, ya. guys.